Today we're taking a look at how to slow down audio on the iPad. Say you're learning a new language and you're trying to mimic a speaker that you have in an audio file, an mp3 file, and you want to uh, slow down the, the speed of their uh, voice. Now there's not too many apps that do this on the iPad, but we're going to use two to get the job done. The first one is called Documents by Riedel, and you see that in the upper left hand corner of our screen. And the second one is Tempo Slow Mo. Now, Documents is what we're going to use to download the MP3 selection. So let's go ahead and uh, open up Documents. Now, when you open up Documents for the first time, you're just going to have an empty folder. Uh, Documents is basically a, a file management app one that holds different files such as uh, video files, audio files, PDFs, Word documents. It's really a nice container to hold all your files and we've reviewed it elsewhere on the site. This time we're going to use it to actually download uh, this mp3 file that we want to slow down. So we'll go into our browser here and it's down on the left hand side at the bottom here you see browser and uh, this is going to open up a browser. Now We've got JW.org already loaded up here, and just for this example, we'll download one of the uh, Bible MP3s, one of the Bible readings. So we'll go over here into Publications, we'll go into Bible, and uh, let's change our language here to Chinese. We'll search that. Okay, now it's going to bring up our Chinese Bible. You see here the headphone icon underneath the Bible is going to allow us to select an MP3. So we'll click MP3 there. Now it's going to load up the different books of the Bible in Chinese. So let's take a look, let's say, at Genesis chapter 1. Now this uh, is critical here. There's an arrow button to play that audio but we want to download the audio. So we're not going to click on this arrow next to where it says chapter one, but instead we're just going to click where it says chapter one. So we click on that and here it's going to ask us to save the file. This is going to download it into the documents app. So we can rename it here. We can say Genesis uh, chapter one. It's going to ask us where we want to save it we can say right to the documents which is the main folder here and it's an mp3 we'll hit done and up in the upper right hand corner you can see that it's already done downloading that arrow right there will show us what our current downloads are so we'll go back into our main documents folder here we'll go out of the browser and there's our mp3 so we've got it saved to the iPad now we want to open it in the app called Tempo Slow Mo. The way that we do that is by hitting edit up in the upper right hand corner, selecting the file, and then on the left hand side menu at the bottom you see open in. So we'll click open in and now it's going to give us the ability to open it in Tempo Slow Mo. So we'll click that. Now uh, that's going to open our Tempo Slow Mo. We see here we've got Genesis Chapter 1. So we already have to have to have both of these apps installed on our iPad. So if we hit play, we can see it's going to start playing uh, Genesis Chapter 1. We can turn up the volume. Okay, so now we've got it, we see that it's at 100% speed, which is just the normal speed of the reader. Now, if we want to slow it down, the way we do that is by tapping on the ring, the outer ring, and dragging our finger around, and you see the percentage starting to slow down here. So we've got, uh, let's say, 75%. Let's go to that, and we'll listen to how the reader sounds. Okay, so it's starting to slow down. We can go down to about 50%, let's say. Now, once we reach the 50% mark, you're going to start to hear some echoing.
Okay, so we hear a little bit of echoing there. The way to get rid of that is just to go a little bit up above 50%, let's say to 60%. So we see that the echoing is gone, and uh, we can still hear the tones of the speaker a lot better than if it was played at full speed. Now another feature of Tempo Slow Mo is to add markers. So if we click on the markers button right here, you see it down just below the middle of the screen. Now markers are going to allow us to select start and stop times of a reading. So for example, if we were trying to practice just a few verses of Genesis chapter 1 and not the entire chapter, we can select where we want to start and stop uh, the recording or the, the play start and stop times. So to do that, we go over to markers. Here you can see we, we can actually move around in the play time with our finger, just like we were doing to change the speed. The speed's not changing, but the play start time is. So we'll say OK. We'll hit start marker. It's going to give us that message again. OK, now we're going to start at the 50 second point. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got our start marker. And let's say we want to stop at the 1 minute and 20 second mark. So we've got basically 20 seconds or 30 seconds of audio that we're going to be listening to. We'll hit stop. It's going to give us that message to tell us what it's doing. And there's our start and stop times. So if I hit play now, it's going to go right back to our start time. And it'll play to the 1 minute and 20 second mark and then stop. So that's how to slow down audio on your iPad. Um, it's a great way to learn a new language. And again, it's using two apps that you'll have to have installed. One is called Documents by Riedel and the other one is Tempo Slow Mo.